Hi, Adam Ring here with Innovative IDM. I wanted to take a few minutes and explain a little bit about how an AC drive works. Really basic. First, we start off with a sine wave, an AC sine wave. Typically, three phase power, although we can also use single phase power as well. So we take that, we send it through a bridge rectifier or a series of diodes, basically, convert that AC into DC. So it starts off and it's a sine wave. Once it goes through the rectifier, it basically flips all the bottom halves up and makes DC, direct current. We store that in these large capacitors. Sometimes we call them like water towers because they remind us of water towers. And that basically is our source for what we're going to use to generate a synthetic AC sine wave out to a motor. So then we take that DC and we go through a series of transistors, which are basically electronic switches. And we use that to create a synthetic sine wave where we can vary the voltage and the frequency in order to get a motor to spin at a given rate. If we keep the ratio of the voltage to the frequency consistent, then we can produce constant torque throughout slow speeds all the way up to the base speed of the motor. And in some cases, we can even go up beyond the base speed of the motor. So in a nutshell, that's how an AC drive works. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at InnovativeIDM.com. We're the home of the legendary customer experience. Thank you.